Welcome back to Author's Note. 2012 has been another tumultuous year for Egypt. After the wave of protests that swept Hosni Mubarak from power in 2011 and the election of President Mohamed Morsi of the Muslim Brotherhood, there has been a power struggle with the army, judiciary and opposition groups all playing a part. Recent wrangling over the constitution and an upcoming referendum is just the latest. To look at how all this is affecting the markets, I'm joined by Raza Aga, Chief Economist for Middle East and Africa of VTB Capital. Raza, thank you for joining us today. Good morning. Um, let's look at our first chart to get an idea of what's been going on in the equity market in Egypt. This is the EGX30. Now, uh, the ups and downs, obviously, are partly driven by some of the politics in Egypt. But if from the start of the year to now, is there's a rise from somewhere in the 3,000s to over 5,000 now. Is that a vote of confidence in Egypt? You have to remember what the uh, what the chart looked like prior to 2012 uh, and prior to the protest where it was at a level of 7,000. So I mean compared to back then market is still uh, well below that uh, and I think the political volatility that you've seen will keep it at these levels, mm. uh, around these levels. Now of course the equity market can be driven by other things rather than, other than just Egyptian politics. So um, Perhaps we should look at our second chart. This is one perhaps you might, you're, you might be keen on. This is the five-year uh, credit default swaps. Now, what does this tell us about what's what, been going what, on in Egypt? What this tells us is, I mean, right up to the peak that you had in June, you had the oscillation uh, because of the political situation. You had the elections uh, more or less out of the way, the parliamentary elections, where you had the CDS levels rally from 650 to 550. Uh, then you had some concerns and noise around the, the, uh, the presidential elections, uh, right up to the point where Morsi was actually sworn in. Uh, the peak in June relates to the army stepping in uh, on the back of a judiciary's decision to dismiss the elected parliament because some of the laws under which the elections were held uh, were not deemed to be constitutional. But, but since June there's a big risk since to decrease in investor risk. Absolutely. Since, since June you've had a rally of about 300 basis points till September. Uh, that rally was driven by President Mercy taking office, increased talk of the IMF uh, package coming through, bilateral support, particularly from the wealthier GCC countries. Uh, you had some blips, which were, you know, delays in government formation, uh, you know, the president taking on the army and removing uh, Field Marshal Tatawi from office. Uh, and then you had uh, more or less a rally till September when you had your storming of the U.S. Embassy after the YouTube video and the attack on Israel from the Sinai Peninsula. But, but right at the end here, if we so move, look right at the uh, right-hand side, there's, a, there's an uptick in, in uh, the, the CDS levels there. What's that telling us about what investors think of Egypt at the moment? Uh, clearly, risks have risen uh, on the back of uh, President Mercy's decision to basically uh, place himself uh, and the Constituent Assembly, which is writing the Constitution, uh, above the law. I mean, parts of those uh, decrees have been, uh, have been taken back. Uh, but again, this is a reflection of increased risk perceptions uh, for Egypt. Uh, uh, well, let's skip to our, uh, our in terms of talking of risk. Let's look at our last chart. Now, um, this shows Egypt's foreign reserves, which have plummeted since uh, 2010. Um, you mentioned earlier the IMF uh, its 4.8 billion package. That's been delayed by a month, perhaps. Um, that was, of it was look, looking crucial at unlocking other sources of funding. Um, is this getting towards a crisis point for Egypt? Even these 15 billion covers only half the external financing requirements that Egypt has over the next two years, which are roughly about $30 billion. Now, the, if it's a short delay to the fund program, then it's, it's not such a bad thing. But if your political situation continues uh, to delay the IMF program and associated funding, which could be as much as another $10 billion, uh, you will see these levels fall further. And, uh, you know, Egypt has low levels of external debt, uh, but again, the risk of capital flight, the fact that commercial banks have nearly $31 billion in foreign currency deposits, uh, which could fly uh, if, if uh, uh, political risks rise, uh, this, is a very, this is a seriously low level. Well, Raza, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, a reminder there that with foreign reserve levels at critical point, 2013 could be another very important year for Egypt.